Hello YouTube, this is Taj with Deep Diver Mobile Detailing. Uh, it's my first video here on YouTube, so I just want to give you guys a quick introduction of myself, uh, my company, where I'm planning to bring my company, and just give you guys a quick tour of my setup, just as a you know quick introductory video, and uh, just kind of show you guys what I have. Um, I'm just... I just turned 19. My birthday was April 7th. It's so like April 9th, April 10th, something like that now. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. Just want to show you guys pretty much everything I bought myself. Uh, a couple things I got as a gift, you know, from my company, from, you know, start to where I am now. So, yeah, just kind of guys show you guys this little quick video. Uh, so, this is my old pressure washer. It's the Greenworks 1500 or 1600 uh, PSI pressure washer. Um, it's out of my arsenal now. I guess I burnt up the pump or whatever. And uh, I picked up a new one on Craigslist for like 20 bucks in the meantime just to get me by. <clears throat> but anyways, we just moved in. As you guys can see, I got all these boxes and everything's not really put away. But this is my detailing shelf right here. Pretty much, I mean, this stuff is not mine. That's not mine. We're going to build shelves so, you know, I could just have my detailing rack to myself. But this is pretty much... You know, when I'm, this is just a start, just kind of temporary, throw this, threw the stuff up there and just left it there for now. Um, but anyways, in the meantime, I'll just show you guys. This is the bucket I bring on each and every single detail, my interior, my exterior. Um, I'm planning on getting another bag because a lot of this is starting to overflow. Uh, as you see, I got my, um, my easy detail brushes, my wheel and tire brush just a clean wash mitt laying around um this thing's actually really good as a duster just to really quickly dust everything off so you don't get dust always flying back around uh, kind of makes it a little bit easier and for you guys that don't know real quick about this glass cleaner it's some of the best glass cleaner is it just like a straight glass cleaner that you can use sprayway world's best glass cleaner it's pretty good um i like it better than invisible glass and pretty much other little couple things i've tried so far uh i had to reshoot this video so i already have some stuff laying out um you i try to upload it well i try to record straight from youtube and upload it from there but uh youtube was not having that so you gotta redo it from the camera over so so this cleaner wax i really don't use it anymore um so this tire wet foam it's pretty much brand new didn't like it so uh it's just sitting there it's a very last resort if i need it but other than that, I use hyper dressing now. Um, this, oops, my cap came off. But this is my old acid uh, wheel cleaner bottle. I guess the acid ate up the um, ate up the nozzle on it. So it's just sitting up there now. It's just got some stuff I could pour into my new bottle. But this is my all-in-one polish. I've got Ultimate Compound there. Some got Trinova Trimmer Store turtle wax trim restore some silk shine dressing i got some more downstairs i actually really love that i'm not really a big fan of chemical guys but the silk shine dressing is really good for the interior engine bay things like that uh complete compound grio scratch used as a one step my two-step polishing system usually if i don't do i usually if i do do like a two-step i do the complete compound followed up with the um, the all-in-one or you know something like that but i'm not big into polishing paint i just find it extremely 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 boring and time consuming i'm just not a fan of it it looks good when you're done but i think it's boring so if i can get away with it i just love doing one step polishes or an all-in-one because i do not like sitting at that car moving one inch a second it's just boring to me um fabric softener um, I mix this with distilled water, about 50-50, 60-40, something like that. And uh, I spray that in the carpet. It helps loosen up dirt and debris from the carpet. But also at the end, it gives it, especially this all, it gives it like a clean scent. And it just kind of like revives the carpet. It just makes it look fresh after you beat it up, trying to clean it out. It just gives it like a fresh look to it. So if I want to, they got a lot of carpet in there. I just spray this in there. just kind of revives the carpet a little bit. Uh, this is my dad's. He just put stuff over here. Armor Oil Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I don't use that. Uh, some Purple Power Degreaser. I just got this in this bottle. It's pretty much full. I've only used it like once. 
uh, vehicle and boat wash right there from doing the strip wash and uh, you know claying it and everything oh yeah and then this is optimum no rinse pretty much every detailer knows about this um, it's okay you know I don't like it it doesn't have much smell for me to me the smell is huge I want to be sitting there smelling good products if I'm gonna be sitting there using them all day and I want them to work this doesn't have much smell but works all right if i have the choice this is a little bit cheaper overall than the uh, wolfgang but this if i had the choice i would always use this wolfgang it smells way 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 better it just works better to me i don't know that's just my opinion but yeah and it's got this little squeeze so you could just squeeze exactly out just perfect you know the perfect amount you need so that's why i like that my dad's jet black turtle wax for his truck as you see he's already at work right now but you know that's his stuff i got this extra shelf right here don't really know what i'm gonna do with that just yet but uh that will be filled up one of these days and i got this cheap foam cannon that came with my greenworks pressure washer an extra uh water hose nozzle and i use these little uh assorted brushes for doing vents and things like that they just break super easily they're just super cheap but um you know going in between the vents they help a lot some applicator pads up there let's see i got some um clay lube right there my uh, nozzle broke on that bottle right there and then here is my dad's and my this is my dad's little waxer thing for his truck um this is the one i got um i was detailing a car i was canvassing and he just gave me this so just sits in there but you know i got a much better polisher inside the house I haven't used that one once yet. Uh, my dirty towels, bucket, things out to wash. Clean towels that I put in the truck whenever I'm ready. And uh, here's the polisher I have. It's inside the house, but here's the box just to show you guys. It's the press a turbine. Save time, money, detail your own car. It comes with a uh, compound polishing waxing pad, wash mat carrying case. One year warranty on it. It's pretty good for the price you pay and everything you get um it was only a hundred bucks even so you get a carrying case three pads a wash mitt a polisher i mean it's pretty hard to beat that it works pretty good i mean it does vibrate you know some way more than you know probably the roof is but you know for 100 bucks you can't beat it and i don't even really like polishing paint anyway so it's not something i do on a day-to-day -day basis uh i just picked this up literally yesterday it's a 120 gallon uh water tank um you know it's not too big it's not too small but um about time i got one you know it just looks professional i'm getting you know, it's just sitting in the truck i'm gonna get the um the stickers to put on the side of my truck and put mobile auto detailing 314-610-4182 right on the back so you know people can see it from every single angle just you know get those little magnets to stick on the side in the meantime but yeah the only thing i have to do to the um water tank is right here i have to put a um do the on off valve so i can hook up my pressure washer to it it's originally right here but um we're gonna put it down there so i can fill up the water right there without having to turn it on the side and you know just make it look awkward but as you see it's it's pretty comfortable in my truck it fits pretty much everything i bring and i still you know if i put this all the way over there you know organized got the hose reel for all this stuff you know i'd have you know a lot more room still to go but um there is my generator got that off craigslist power boss 3250 handyman plus pretty much handles everything i need it's got four plugins for me um works great no complaints it's just a little bit loud and it's a little bit heavy so in the future if i get some more money you know obviously I'll upgrade to something a little bit better a little bit smaller more compact robust but that's what i got now and it works so no need to upgrade uh every detailer knows about the rigid vacuum nothing to say there you guys already know what that is this is the cheap pressure washer i was talking about earlier uh, as you see i already got my quick connect just sitting on there uh, just to get me by since my green works broke um but it looks like it's gonna do the job i just put my teflon tape and everything on here uh because the day i got it i just had to put everything on real quick just so i could use it and try everything out and it was just dripping water and uh finally put the teflon tape on there so i gotta see if it's waterproof now but um my mccullough 1275 steam machine i like it 
you know, I just lost the um, the steamer head for the cloth seat, for doing like leather seats and stuff like that. I lost that, so it's a bummer. But um, it's a pretty good steamer. Only complaint is that um, it shoots out a lot of water, and uh, it doesn't steam long enough for me. I was gonna do the VX five thousand in the future, but uh, I think I'm just gonna get the McCulloch, the best one they got. It's only two hundred bucks versus eight hundred bucks for the. Um, vx 5000 so i could get four of those to one vx 5000 so i mean it just makes sense to get the uh the upgraded mcculloch which i'm gonna do in the future uh my gas for my generator my extra bottle of distilled water my uh, extension cord that's just sitting back here looking disgusting my bucket that i use for rinsing with two dirty wash mitts in here that the wash and clean my water hose my uh mtm sg28 uh spray gun it's got the uh multiple tip nozzles on here that i got off amazon it's like 25 bucks but um it's nice i got everything pretty much right on here but i still got the other ones if i uh just want to do one spray quick necks on there and the uh, next thing i'm gonna do is get a uh real for this because this is starting to annoy me just having everything laying around like this and it's gonna save me some more room um i have to get like a five foot or a six foot little uh just water hose for this um so i can run my um pressure washer off here but uh there's my nike bag that's pretty much got all my clean towels in there wash mitts you know things like that my 20 dollar, 30 dollar green works leaf blower right there it does the job for you know what i need and here's my extension cord reel so i'll hook up you know the 50 foot off the generator and then i'll use that to run the uh leaf blower at first and then i'll hook up my uh, reel and then uh that would have my vacuum my steamer and then my drill brush on there running off that i'll show you guys the inside the truck now so this is where I have pretty much everything else. I've got my scheduling book, my old scheduling book, and then my uh, my company book. So this has my business plan, things like that. The list of things when I first started my company, which is $336 when I very first started everything. So it's cost, you know, marketing, things like that. I got in here from the from start to finish it's pretty much got all the ideas and plans i've ever written down for my company I'm sitting right in that book um let's see got an extra bottle of distilled water uh got i have my uh, wheel and tire cleaner uh super clean diluted four to one in there uh, this is all my dirty towels that i bring into that bucket to get washed i just throw them in here um rain x bug and tar these are the these are the air fresheners I used. I used to work at Green Liner, Green Lantern Car Wash. Uh, Martian Car Wash bought over it, so I just kind of used their idea at Green Lantern. They used to use these Wonder Wafers. Um, these ones don't work near near as good as for some reason the ones that worked inside the car wash. They just don't last as long. They're, they're not as potent smelling, but um, for the price. You get 250 count for 20 bucks. Wild chair and clean car. These are the two most popular besides new leather or clean leather, whatever it was. So I'll just use these two for now. Um, I put three in a car that lasts four or five days. I mean, that's good enough for 20 bucks. You really can't beat a 250 count. Um, super clean, almost out. I use Simple Green as well. For me personally, maybe it's just my opinion. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I feel like Simple Green works better as an interior cleaner, as like an all-purpose. I mean, that's what it is, but I feel like an all-purpose is cleaning everything. I feel like that just works better than Super Clean. I feel like Super Clean just, you know, I feel like it does what it says the best. Dissolves grease, dirt, stains quicker than Simple Green. But I feel like Simple Green is just like an all-purpose cleaner. It works better. And uh, it just leaves behind a better smell. Like, Simple Green just smells better than Super Clean. You clean someone's car and leave Simple Green smell behind. It just smells like you cleaned their car. You, you know what I'm saying? It's composed to uh, Super Clean. 
But um, I have a lot of problems with super clean and having stuff turn white with it for some reason, especially in combination with the steam cleaner, just tends to turn turn things white. I don't I don't know. And I dilute my stuff. I know everything's ten to one or eight to one. I usually like my stuff like eight or nine to one just to give me a little bit more power. But I know that cannot be heavy enough because people do four to one in cars. So I don't understand why this stuff turns stuff white. But super clean, super simple green. Everything's simple green, super clean, all this stuff. But I like it. It works well as an interior cleaner. But I always use that as the wheel and tire at the very least. Um, my drill brush with my other attachments in there. My car soap for the uh, foam can and gold class. That's my PH1 as I showed you guys. I've got the um, vehicle and boat wash in there. My cheap. Amazon foam cannon works well. Um, nothing to say about that. And then it, I'm going back on a drill brush. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't know about it, look on YouTube. There's videos about how good these things are. Um, my interior pump spray bottles. This is one, two, three. And then I used to have another one, but I broke the head to it. So I got three and then my wheel and tire. Um, as far as I can tell, that's pretty much it. I made this video earlier, like I said, so I'm just trying to breeze through it quickly right now. As uh, I sat here for 17 minutes before and we're already at 17 minutes again. And yeah, it's pretty much my truck. I'll show you guys a walk around of my truck though. It's a 2004 Dodge Ram Hemi 5.7 liter Magnum. It's only got 88,000 88, miles. Uh, I picked up when it had 84,000 miles. So I put 4,000 miles on it since I got it. But uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want a second car, but, um, you know, I'm just going to hold off on getting a second car because the car I want, it's kind of pricey, you know, for, for having a second car. I'd have this and then my Dodge Charger RT right next to it. But... I wanted to get that next year. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to be able to get that much money in one year, probably. And I'd rather just invest that money into something else now, now that I'm thinking about it. And, you know, just get a better charger next, you know, next couple years, like a Scat Pack or a Hellcat, you know, something nicer. But, you know, for the meantime, the, you know, Silverback is what I call it. It's going to work. And, uh, yeah, so that's just a quick video, guys. Just kind of give you a quick tour of my detailing setup just kind of show you guys what i do and oh and also going up back real quick i'm about to start up lawn care again i used to do a couple accounts back in the day but uh, i got out of it started working and then uh, after a while i started the detailing and then my friend logan uh he actually cuts yards and he's kind of moving away from yards into just landscaping full time so he's turning away a lot of customers uh, so I told him I'd dedicate two days a week, um, every single week, to do some of these lawns that are nearby. So I have a Craftsman 6 horsepower push mower. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that you have to pull out the spark plug every single time you want to turn it off. Because for some reason, uh, it don't it doesn't turn off when you just open this. So I got that. I've got my steel trimmer. And then a still leaf blower right there. And um, yeah, my dad used to have a walk behind uh, as he used to cut yards. But I was 16 when he had it and he sold it. I didn't want to do on care. I was like, nah, I, you know, I don't, I don't do that. That's stupid. And, uh, you know, I kind of bit the bullet looking back at it. But, you know, if I like it enough, I could buy another walk behind. You know, it's not really a problem to me. I'm not, you know, that anal about money even though i am anal about money no way i don't like always just spending my money but you know you live and you learn man i'm only 19 so you know i got ways to go if as you see i've got pretty much everything on for my detailing the truck so on for myself i mean i got a couple of things as gifts but you know i pretty much got everything from start to finish so if i want to walk behind i could get a walk behind whenever i'm you know if in due time if i want to really do the lawn care aspect side of it i was always bigger in the detailing but you know if i like it i got a couple accounts if i like it i can always you know build from there but um that's pretty much it guys this video is already 20 minutes and um 
yeah see you guys next time show you guys the next video i'll do sometime soon and uh that's it peace